Hello everyone, Beata here. Welcome back to Getting to Know Fibers and Fabric Season 1, Episode 6. Today we're looking at wool. The clothing industry does make use of a few animal hairs, but wool is definitely the most common or the most well-known at least. So I'm going to focus on wool and here and there I will be covering things like mohair as well as cashmere and so forth. We get wool either from sheep or from lamb by shaving their hair off and taking it through a process of cleaning it and weaving it into thin little fibers that we can weave into lovely garments such as this one that I'm wearing today. Wool is an amazing fiber to use in cold winter months. Wool has amazing qualities unlike any other fiber. Wool retains heat very well and heats up the air on the inside. The same way it would do for a sheep and a lamb, it does for you when you are wearing wool. So the air between your body and the actual garment heats up. The air is retained and it heats up inside. Another amazing quality is whenever it is wet, you don't have to worry, you can still wear your wool jumper. The wool absorbs the moisture in the air and it releases heat. I mean, how crazy is that and how amazing are sheep? This is exactly why sheep can keep warm in winter months. Another amazing feature of a lamb or a sheep is that it will never stop producing wool. So if you leave a sheep unshaved, it will just keep on building up these layers and layers of wool. So I'll put up a picture now to show you exact what, exactly what an unshaven sheep looks like. Wool as a fabric, is amazing for humans to use as well. The only thing is it does shrink quite a bit so you have to care for it very well and when you care for it very well it can last super long. I'm now going to take you through a few wool items that I own and I'm going to show you all the different hairs and textures in these garments. As I've mentioned the top that I'm wearing today is made out of wool but it's actually a silk and wool blend. It wears very, very well and it keeps me so nice and toasty, especially on an overcast day like today or maybe in winter months when you want to layer it up with other cardigans and other jackets and so forth. Obviously, it's not a winter winter item with the sleeveless arms, but if you do live in an environment where you have central heating, this is a perfect item to wear inside as well. You can see that it is knitted and it's a very, very high quality knit with silk finishing here on the side. The next item is a very plain and simple little jumper. Um, it is quite thin and it's really nice to wear in the winter even with a different vest or something underneath um, if it's a super cold day. This beautiful baby blue never disappoints. As you can see up close, it is also a really nice fine knitted wool. This is also super soft against the skin and it's not irritating at all. I think in today's time we're so used to garments not being high quality that we almost don't know what to compare it to if one is speaking about something that is high quality. But now I can definitely show you. This top I've owned for I've owned this top for 15 years. This cardigan is one of my absolute favorites and it is so freaking cute in winter. I love this little pom-pom detail on the ends and it's basically just got a zipper here in front. I would definitely not style it with the turtleneck that I'm wearing today but you can see it's a beautiful lovely jumper and I'm going to show you um, exactly what the fabric looks like up close. To show you exactly that it doesn't have hair sticking out, it is still an extremely, extremely high quality. It doesn't show any wear and tear except for the little, let me try and find it. There was a little moth hole over there, but I sewed it up and it was also from wear and tear, or in fact the only wear and tear that it does show is here at the zipper. The zipper lost its, its color a bit and here at the bottom it actually um, opened up a bit but I just sewed it back together. 
This is a great, great example to show that when you do invest in something that is high quality, it can really last. This is something that I've worn every single winter throughout the 14 years that I've owned it. This is from a brand called Princess Tam Tam. I bought it here in South Africa, or at least my mum bought it for me here in South Africa. Um, and I can't really speak to the quality of the brand today because this is the only item that I own. But I must say, well freaking done. I am super, super impressed. Another great feature of this is that I really wash this because it doesn't smell. And that is one of the great features about wool. Wool is self-cleansing, at least on the sheep, but also when it's blended in a cardigan or something. So it just shows you when you invest in a high quality product, you get the quality. And I'm, I'm probably going to speak about quality a hundred times in this video, so I do apologize in advance. This is another big jumper that I have for winter. It's much, much, much thicker than the one that I just showed. And it's actually a blend. I'm quickly gonna check for you. It's got mohair, wool, and something else. Oh, a bit of nylon. That's unfortunate. So you can see the blend over here. And the fact that they use nylon just shows they actually tried to make this cardigan cheaper. If they only used wool and the alpaca, it would have been more expensive. But I'm still taking care of this very well and it's, I've probably had this for six winter seasons. This is a black jumper that I own as well and it is made out of wool, mohair and nylon. A tip for you, if you have um, quite sensitive skin, mohair can be irritating and have a little bit of an itchy feeling to it. I don't really experience it with wool all that much. With this one, I do feel that I need to wear a vest to be my first layer on my skin and this can be my second. This can be quite itchy because of the mohair. So if you have very sensitive and um, irritable skin, rather go for wool and not mohair. This is the last item I'll be showing. This is a scarf. It is a 90% wool, 10% cashmere scarf. And I've had this for about only about three years or so. Never washed it, never dry cleaned it. It doesn't smell and it is amazing. When storing away wool, you want to make sure that no moth or silver fish can get close to it. I know that you can use moth balls. They have an extremely horrible smell. So this works extremely well. I buy these big soaps and the soap is still on the inside. So I just keep it sealed. And I put this in between my scarves, in between my jumpers. This keep moth and silver fish away and will also help freshen up your clothing by having it smell like beautiful soap. Let's go into the pros and cons of wool. Wool is very warm and as I've mentioned, it retains heat very, very well. It is good in moist conditions as I explained before. It is extremely durable, it is absorbent and it is fire resistant. Again, another beautiful feature of mother nature to protect the sheep. It is hypoallergenic and the fabric lasts extremely long. My grandmother owns jumpers, scarves, um, and other wool items. And she's probably had them for 30 years or so. And she said she will pass them along to us. It just shows you if you take care of your items. Quality. I said I can, I'm gonna say that word a lot in this video. The cons. Special care is required. What do I mean by that? I just mean don't be willy-nilly when you're going around in your favorite beautiful wool jumper. Don't go sit in dirty spots, check the bench if you're leaning against something, make sure that there's no sharp edges where it can easily get hooked on. So that is actually what I mean by it needs to be looked after and cared for. Yes, you might need a different detergent than the one that you currently have, but again, you won't really need to wash wool all that much because it is self-cleaning. If you wash it at a too high temperature, it can shrink. It can pull if it's not of a good quality. Let me show you what that looks like. 
So this is the same cardigan as the blue one that I showed before, but you'll see over there there's these small little balls forming on the surface of the cardigan. This is because I've worn the black one more than the blue one, so the blue one has not done this yet. You can get one of those little machines or shavers that remove it, um, and I'd recommend doing that because it will keep the cardigan in a better condition. But remember, the more you do it, the more fibers you're removing from your cardigan. In some areas, the knit can become thinner. The environmental pros. It absorbs dye very easily which means that it doesn't have to go through a lot of dyeing processes and a simple dye can be used and if you can try and go for an environmentally friendly brand that uses environmentally friendly dyes. The wool is biodegradable so if it does end up in water waste or in the ground or on the earth there's nothing to worry about. Clothes do last a really long time as I've mentioned before and there's no need for replacement which means you can wear the same item again and again and again so when buying wool make sure that you're buying something stylish something simple that it's not too bound to that specific season in a bold loud print but rather something that you can wear every single season the environmental cons there is definitely an animal cruelty issue therefore the fiber is not vegan I urge you to do research as some companies do take care of their animals and there is no animal cruelty but as we know if companies are cruel to animals they will not have it on the forefront so really try and do your best to go for ethical brands lastly chemicals can be used but you can also opt in again for an environmentally friendly brand where there's not a lot of toxic chemicals or no toxic chemicals used in the dyeing process of the wool. That is it for this video guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now and also turn post notifications on so that you know every single day that I'm uploading. The series will still continue until the 20th of March. Please come along for the journey. Have a lovely day. Cheers guys.